Bonsoir. Nous sommes bien contents de ce que nous jouons encore dans l'autre émission Law, Politics and Society. Encore, moi, je suis André Pierre, moi, c'est co-host de Chosa. Et nous, après-midi, nous n'avons pas de ma co-host, ma partenaire, Max Ossinal, qui parle avec nous à ce moment-là. Il y a une urgence qui fait que les ne sont pas chita à bon côté. Mwen. Nous reconnaissons que le mois de mars là, son mois qui est très important. Premièrement, son mois que vous célébrez fille tout aux États-Unis et nous voyons que ça a fait un pile dans le sud de Floride là. En même temps, tout nous voyons que le mois de mars que tout le monde commence à préparer ou bien que vous avez un fin fil tax déjà ou bien vous avez allé pour le fil tax. Et bien, à ce là, nous avons un guest qui est très intéressant parce que ce sont une combination de deux facteurs. Ça. Premièrement, les sont filles qui ont célébré dans le mois de mars, là, et finir en même temps, tout, les sont une na plus bon certified public accountant qui a gagné aux États-Unis. Eh bien, sans introduction, je vais introduire Géraldine Lazar, qui est un CPA et CA, Masters of Taxes. Eh bien, Géraldine Lazar, gradué University of Miami with a Master's Degree in Taxation. Avant ça, il a un bachelor degree in, mid, in business administration and accounting. Il a une licence dans différents de branches. Premièrement, il est CPA dans l'État de Floride. Il est un membre différent de l'organisation. Um, Jerry, c'est un homme qui a commencé à dire que le community service député est tout petit. Um, il a commencé à travailler à aider les gens à préparer les taxes, à aider les gens à préparer les documents, de croire que vous même pour ne pas faire erreur avant que vous voyez les taxes à joindre RS. Eh bien, je suis bien content de ce que je vais joindre Jerry on the show. Jerry, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, as we said before, we are celebrating um, uh, Women History Month, which is the month of March. And at the same time, you know, you're one of the best CPAs around the country. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Andre. It's a pleasure to be here. Be here. I'm honored that you'd have me here. And <laughs> merci pour community ICM pour inviter me dans Kaiwa Square. Okay. Nous voyons que, premièrement, l'éducation que vous faites déjà, c'est un bagage que it's not even questionable. Um, deuxièmement, nous voyons que vous n'avez pas organisation qui est au membre là-dedans. Uh, nous avons un paquet de clients représentés. On parle de votre background, mm -hmm. you know, what, you know, the kind of clients that you have represented in the past mm -hmm. and the kind of work that you have been doing, not only professionally, mm -hmm. but also in the public sector. Okay, well, um, like you mentioned earlier, I, when I started looking at my background, you know, when you have to do a, a profile of yourself, you, you kind of look at what, you, what you've done. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I've been volunteering since high school when they had uh -huh. the um, Voluntary Income Tax Assistance um, Program, and I was helping my fellow classmates to prepare their tax return. Mm -hmm. So service has always been a part of what I've been doing. So even when I started my business, I realized I wanted to continue that. I'm originally from Miami-Dade County. I'm a Florida resident. 305. 305 <laughs> in the house, um, born and raised. Uh -huh. And um, I went to North Miami Beach Senior High School, which was down the street from here. Uh -huh. But I decided to go away for school. Um, mm -hmm. And I went to Howard University, which was a great experience for me. But I, I, f I fell homesick. So uh -huh. I came back home to sunny South Florida. And I started my career here um, working with PricewaterhouseCoopers, um, one of the big four accounting firms. Uh -huh. And I think that experience really helped me because sometimes when we start a business, you know, we always don't have the the people and the policies mm -hmm. and, and to be able to put those things in place. But working for a large firm, mm -hmm. I was able to learn a lot of that and implemented that in my own business. So um, in 2003, I was going to University of Miami and uh -huh. I met my two um, fellow co-founders, uh -huh. and we started TriMerge Consulting Group. So TriMerge Consulting Group actually was born out of University of Miami while we were uh -huh. getting um, our master's in tax. And you know, we decided to start a CPA firm mm -hmm. because we realized we wanted to offer the community more than just tax services. We also provide accounting and audit services, which is what we learn mm -hmm. working for the big four accounting firms. And so I've been able to bring some of what we, what we do to the community, to our local community here in Miami uh -huh. County. Um, we offer accounting, we offer tax services, we offer audit services to a lot of nonprofits and businesses as well as the okay. government sector. Um, I see you, you 
your firm started in 2003, which was about 14 years ago, but you have been a CPA for what, 17 years? Well, um, you know, in oh. the state of Florida, you had to get your master's first. So uh, I passed the CPA exam in D.C. Um, after graduating from Howard, uh -huh. but I couldn't become a CPA in the state of Florida until I got the master's, which was done later on. Okay. So that's when I became a CPA uh -huh. in 2004. 2004. So I became okay. a CPA in 2004 and, yeah, 2004. Yeah. Okay. And so then we started the firm. Uh huh. And I since have become a CPA in D.C. and Georgia. Uh, and, and, and Florida. And Florida. Well, of course, Florida. Uh -huh. And um, we do work outside of Florida as well. We um, just expanded to D.C. Uh -huh. We just opened up an office in D.C. because we want to serve the federal government as well. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a member of um, American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, which was founded in 1887? Um, you have about a half a million members in 143 countries. Yes, we do. Tell us about that uh, organization that you're a member of. Well, you know, joining the AICPA was great for me because it provided a lot of structure, mentorship, mm -hmm. a lot of training. Sometimes as a small firm, it's very difficult to stay abreast of everything that's going on. You know, usually mm -hmm. when you're with a large firm, they guide you and provide a lot of training. So one of the things about being associated with AICPA is that they provide a lot of the training mm -hmm. and this foresight that we need to be able uh -huh. to run our business. But we're also... Um, What's very instrumental is the local society. So, for example, with the state of Florida, there's the Florida yeah. Institute of CPAs. FICPA. Yeah, FICPA. And uh -huh. so they're very helpful in helping you to run your business mm -hmm. and helping you how to operate. And so they've been very helpful in helping me. And I've definitely played a role in their organization by joining committees. And I've also was former treasurer of one of the local chapters here in, um, in Miami. Monday. Yes, yes. Wow. Um, we're going to continue with your background, and we're going to get a chance to get into some of the clients that you have served in the past. But before we do so, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, Pablo, I've got a law, politics, and society. Na ponti break na pito ne tutale avec guestnu Jerry Lazar. Sinal Consulting Group is a consultant business center for business plan, incorporation. 501c3 for non-profit, income tax préparation, Sinal Consulting Group, c'est la référence. 305 308 82 29. Office là offre tout. Life insurance, money management et investment. Relé jeudi à pour une consultation gratuite. 305 308 82 29. Si vous avez besoin d'un avocat pour immigration, cas criminel, l'État et fédéral, relé avocat yo dans le bureau André Pierre dans 305 398 96 46. Pour accident de machine, dérangement dans le travail, glisser et tomber, relé avocat André Pierre dans 305 398 96 46. Ou qu'a gain droit jusqu'à 10 000 dollars dans bénéfice. C'est seul un avocat qui a fait joindre l'argent. Nous ici là pour servir. Si vous pas touché, nous pas touché. Ou pas pral doué fré avocat ak dépense yo. Rele avocat André Pierre nan 305 398 96 46 ou soit allé nan 550 Norti 124e rue nan Nord Miami. Nou dieu merci de ce qu'on était avec nous pas oublier à regarder Law Politics and Society avec special guest nou Jerry Lazar qui on CPA. Uh, nous disons que le mois de mars, là, que nous avons célébré Women History Month, nous sommes bien contents de ce que nous avons gagné ça avec nous. Nous avons bon une bonne information à propos des taxes, uh, qui nous connaît que nous avons une bonne deadline pour arriver là, et finir en même temps pour accounting services. Jerry, nous avons réalisé que vous know, représentez beaucoup de you know, gouvernementales, des entités et différentes entités de business, et je pense que vous aussi représentez des individus. Um, in that capacity. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so, you know, when we started the business, we definitely wanted to help out our community. And so we started off working with small businesses and nonprofits mm -hmm. as well as individuals. Uh, but sometime, you know, around 2006, when the economy was um, taking a dive, uh -huh. we decided that it was important for us to diversify the business. So in addition to serving businesses and nonprofits like we've always done, and we still continue to do that, we've also decided that we wanted to work with the government. Mm -hmm. And so we started working with some of the other CPAs. I thought it was great to work with some of the other CPAs in Miami-Dade County and Broward 
who were able to mentor us and guide us and allow us to get some experience working in the governmental sector. And that mm -hmm. really opened the door for us um, and it really changed the face of our firm because um, now we've been able to work with a lot of governmental institutions here in Miami-Dade County. Um, also, one of the things that really changed the firm as well is that in 2012, our first Haitian commissioner, Monestine, um, actually did a business trade mission in, um, to Haiti. And okay. I used that as an opportunity to visit Haiti for the first time, <laughs> uh, but also to do trade. And um, th it was very receptive and very open. And I was able to meet some CPA firms in Haiti and have been working with them. And that really changed the face of our firm as well because it, it got me into thinking about working abroad and working uh -huh. internationally and working at the federal level. So um, recently we, we expanded into working with the federal government and we won two federal contracts um, last year um, mm -hmm. with the federal government. But we still do work with our local small businesses and mm -hmm. our individuals and our nonprofits. I still get a lot of excitement working with them and mm -hmm. helping them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's definitely a big core of what we do. Um, we provide accounting services to businesses. We provide um, business tax preparation as well as consulting. You know, mm -hmm. one of the things I try to tell my business clients is that you can't just come to us when it's time to prepare the tax return. <laughs> you know, you got to do a lot of planning and strategy. That's what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, you know, when you have a business, it's a, it's a it's a different animal, right? Uh -huh. You're dealing with employees, you're dealing with payroll taxes, you're dealing with a lot of compliance issues. Mm -hmm. And so you definitely want to plan. And, and so we try to get a lot of our businesses to do more tax planning so that we can mm -hmm. think a little bit forehead with them in terms of when they're trying to expand and grow um, and helping them make decisions right. that benefit their bottom line, right? Mm -hmm. um, because the, as they grow and expand, I mm -hmm. feel like we're, we need to be a team player with them right. because we're going to help them grow, they're going to help us grow. Right. Um, and so we've also been helping nonprofits a lot. We've been helping nonprofits since we um, opened the door. And what's great about helping nonprofits is that you really get to serve the community a little bit deeper because you uh -huh. start working with them and you see their mission and what they're doing, you get all riled up and want to get excited about working mm -hmm, with them. Mm -hmm. So I think I've really enjoyed working with our nonprofits more than anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you serve on North East Second Avenue Partnership, which is a not-for-profit uh, organization here in Little Haiti. Mm -hmm. um, you serve on the board um, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. um, but we realize that a lot of times uh, folks that have business in the community, you know, the mentality that we only need um, a CPA or we need an accountant, it's when we are about to file taxes mm -hmm. and we take that mentality into our own business. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you know, we said, hey, you know, when it's come time to prepare taxes, that's when we do so. But individually, I mean, do we tend to work with them early on in terms of deductions, what they need to do, you know, throughout the year or it's still We'll wait till the time comes once you get your W-2 or your 1099 for you to go ahead and see a CPA. I think you have to look at what type of taxpayer you are. So, for example, you know, yeah. it, uh, someone making on average less than 50000 probably is single, doesn't have a home. Uh -huh. You know, they probably don't have many things going on. Um, um, that may require them to go to a CPA. But I think it's always good to take some time to meet with the CPA or a tax professional uh -huh. uh, beforehand, just mm -hmm. so that you can kind of figure out what you should do. Because sometimes by the time the person comes to you after the year's over, mm -hmm. it's too late to make plans. It's too late okay. to strategize. It's too late to say you should make an IRA, IRA deduction, right? right? You should make a contribution. It's too late to say you should put more money in your 401k mm -hmm. to reduce your taxable income. Even with an individual, you right. can do some of those things. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so if they come to you a little bit earlier, you can have some of that guidance. Mm -hmm. But m nine times out of 10 people are coming to you after the fact, and right. that really hurts them. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say definitely as you start making a lot of income, Mm -hmm. It's definitely important to yeah. hire maybe a CPA, but not even mm -hmm. just a CPA, somebody who understands tax very well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I say, be careful about the tax shops. Yeah. <laughs> because the tax shops, um, they can help you do the tax return, uh -huh. but they may not have the foresight to help you with some of those challenging areas, right? right? So for example, one of the things that I hear a lot in our community panu is, you know, do I have to report everything, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but 
in the U.S., you're supposed to report your worldwide income. That's right. If you're yeah. a U.S. citizen or resident, and mm -hmm. many people don't realize that, and so they don't include it all. And we have a very large immigrant community that sometimes have relations and businesses mm -hmm. and transactions outside of Florida or uh -huh. outside of the U.S. Mm -hmm. They need to know that those things need to be considered in the tax return. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you're working with, a, uh, I, I like to call them the tax shops, uh -huh. they may not know all of those rules right, and right. they may not know about the, you know, the foreign reporting guidelines uh -huh. and so on and so forth. So we definitely try to get people to come to us a little bit earlier on. Give me, give me a minute. I, I need to <laughs> say this in Creole, and I know Creole is not going to be able to do it. Okay? Um, go back to the professional, the Jerry, the professional, the Jerry, 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 the préparer taxe ou pour aller voir l'aller gon pa kèt différent de gens que ou gen doit save l'argent gens que ou gen doit mettre l'argent en 401k ou gen doit mettre l'argent dans différents des account qui ka faut payer PPT tax mm -hmm. et l'on paye PPT tax ça va dire comme ça que ou fait bagaille qu'on pas doit faire c'est comme ça loi yé loi bon avantage de quoi que pour ka payer PPT tax si que ou gen l'autre bagaille qu'on a fait on l'autre bagage qui est important que professionnel a dit là qui dit comme ça que si tu coup là que ou a fait business dans l'autre pays ou bien que ou gagné ça que l'eau um, l'argent qu'on fait dans l'autre pays uh, pas penser parce qu'on fait dans l'autre pays à que ou pas doit mettre aux États-Unis in fact il est important en pile pour faire ça et pas oublier que um, Jean tax code là et là en pile temps que mon cap préparer tax pour ne doit pas comprendre bot l'autre de que wal wè on CPA qui gagne expérience avec compte ça la faire le plus important les filles plus ca aider dans sens qu'au besoin les fin le cadeau exactement qui Jean que pour manage comme là pour pas payer en pile tax CPA il pas travail pour gouvernement il pas travail pour AR c'est pour la travail ça veut dire comme ça que un paquet différent de advice de Kabao qui pour dire exactement qui gens qui pour payer pour petit tax et l'op garder garder président nous aux États-Unis qu'on y a nous songeons là que monsieur pas payer tax pour presque 1 billion de dollars en bagage comme ça monsieur Bradedorf jusqu'à ce que tax ça vienne ça crée là que bon advice que monsieur demain je dans CPA il dans main un uh, monde qui représente le qui fait que il pas payer tout ça taxe ça et même quand il y a président toujours a dit comme ça que lui même il va devoir payer un pile taxe parce que n'importe gens que le cas joindre pour pas payer taxe il est plus bon pour lui et ou même ou ca fait même bagarre là et et dans loi mm -hmm. c'est loi qui est qui ca fait comme ça so n'a pour le petit break là n'a pas donné tout à l'heure parce que en pile information nous ba là le film ta rien mais que pour dire comme ça qui différent de au monde qui a préparé taxe au monde qui gagne un AS numéro pour préparer taxes les finir avec un CPA. So, n'a pas tenu tout à l'heure avec question ça, pas oublier ou regarder leur politics and society avec guest spécial non à Jerry Lazar. Si vous avez besoin d'un avocat pour immigration, cas criminel, l'État et fédéral, relayez avocat yo dans le bureau André Pierre dans 305 398 96 46. Pour accident de machine, dérangement de travail, glisser et tomber, relayez avocat André Pierre dans 305 398 96 46. Ou qu'a gain droit jusqu'à 10 000 dollars dans bénéfice. C'est seul un avocat qui a fait rejoindre l'argent. Nous ici là pour servir. Si vous pas touché, nous pas touché. Ou papa le doué frère avocat avec des pensions. Relé avocat André Pierre dans 305 398 96 46 ou soit aller dans 550 Norti 124e rue dans Notre Miami. Sinal Consulting Group c'est un consultant business center pour business plan, incorporation, favor one c for non-profit, income tax préparation. Sinal Consulting Group c'est la référence 305 308 82 29 office là offre tout life insurance money management et investment relé jodi a pour une consultation gratuite 305 308 82 29 et merci encore d'être avec nous que vous regardez l'or politics and society avec special guest nous Jerry Lazar Jerry uh, before we took the break mm -hmm. the question was uh, the distinction between a tax shop and the tax shop may be a tax preparer with an RS number to do so mm -hmm. and a CPA. I think um, one of the things or the goals of the IRS is to not make tax preparation 
a burdensome process, right? They don't mm -hmm. want to make it too complex, too difficult pour mon faire, right? Mm -hmm. And so what they did is they relaxed the rules, right? Mm -hmm. They relaxed the rules and they started allowing a lot of people to be able to file, I mm -hmm. mean, to file to be able to get the um, P10 number to be able to prepare the tax return. So you don't have to be an accountant, you uh -huh. don't have to have a master's in tax to prepare a tax return. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, but um, you do need to have some level of experience outside of just taking 14 or 16 hours of training per year. Uh -huh. You know, that, that's, that's the difference. But you know, at the same instance, a tax professional is somebody who's definitely gonna maybe stay abreast of the rules a little bit more. Okay. Um, they're gonna probably mm -hmm. take more classes and become more mm -hmm. educated. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I, I know many people who've been doing taxes for 20, 30 years, and they were doing tax returns before we even had software. So, you know, I think those people are some of the greatest um, people ever to ever to, to uh, oh god I made a to uh, that out there preparing taxes. <laughs> yeah, because okay. because they know they know the rules inside and out. Uh -huh. They can prepare that tax return. They don't need a software to prepare the tax return. Okay. Tax return for them. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of tax shops now what's happening a, a lot of t um, the work is data entry, right? Yeah. So they're just plugging in some numbers and they're answering a few questions, but they definitely can't think outside of the box. They can't yeah. ask you those those leading questions to uh -huh. ask more uh, about what's going on and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would also go a little bit further and say not every CPA is great at taxes right, right. because mm -hmm. you know when we go to school you may specialize in accounting you may specialize in auditing you may specialize in taxation so you might not necessarily be an expert in all of the different areas right. I would say go to someone who is learning and staying abreast of the rules continuously because if you notice our government is always making changes mm -hmm. there's always some kind of rule that came out there's always an ordinance there's always something that comes out that changes the rule just a little bit and are you going to be working with somebody that's going to help you stay on top of those rule changes is what's okay. important try merge mm -hmm. um you said you got two partners mm -hmm. so tell us about try merge you know the the two partners and mm -hmm. how you know, to get a hold of you, to get a hold of your partners, you know, if someone is watching right now, what do they need to do? So actually our name came from the fact that we had three partners. Uh -huh. um, so that's where the name Trimerge is came it three from. Women? So it was two men and one, <laughs> <laughs> two women and one man. Okay. Um, but my two partners have since left. They left early on um, uh -huh. the firm and for personal reasons. Okay. And so it's just been myself running the firm for the past, I'd say 12 years. Wow. Yeah, it's 12 uh -huh. years. Um, but we've definitely grown over the years. Uh -huh. um, I've brought on a lot of staff uh -huh. with a accounting and tax experience and master's levels to okay. be able to provide the necessary skills and talent that's necessary to help our community. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely if you want to reach out to us, um, you can visit us at www.trimergecpa.com. You can also visit us at www.trimergetax.com and you can call us at 305-940-5344. We are here in the North Miami Beach area and we're also in the downtown Miami office. Mm -hmm. um, we also have an office in DC that we just opened up last year. Okay, what's the address in North Miami Beach and So our downtown? address in uh, North Miami Beach is 39 Northwest, 166th Street, Suite 1, Miami, Florida, 33169. And we're also downtown at 1444 Biscayne Boulevard, Suite 11521, Miami, Florida, 33132. There you go. Now, one last question for you. Yes. Okay, in terms of Women History Month. We are celebrating you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's that going? Well, you know what? Um, I try not to uh, think too much about the accomplishments that I've made over the years, but um, I think one of the things that I've been trying to do as a woman is making sure that I kind of give back uh -huh. and making sure that I mentor and guide and lift as I climb. Um, uh -huh. And so in 2007, I created an internship program. And that's one of the ways that I give back. Like uh -huh. I, 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 I invest in students who are coming mm -hmm. before me who need that guidance uh -huh. that I didn't get initially when I first started off. And okay. so uh, we've been able to have about 20 students that have come through our program from Israel to the Bahamas, to Haiti, mm -hmm. to Nigeria. 
um, who've been in our program. And so that's one of the things that I really um, feel really great about, that mm -hmm. I can give back to some of the uh, accounting students who are coming um, before us. Okay. But you see, um, the day that I was put out by, um, I think, the White House, mm -hmm. basically saying that women are getting paid 30% less than men. How are you addressing that? Well, you know, I, I, I look at skill set, I look at experience, uh -huh. um, and I try to make sure that our team is equally compensated. So I don't do favoritism between a man and a woman. I look at their experience and their expertise. I look at what the market is paying, and I try to do a mm -hmm. fair treatment of the experience and expertise, and that's what I do. Jerry, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having Merci me. Merci en encore en pile information ou ta de sa uh, professionnel a dit. J'ai dit comme ça que si que ou besoin contacter les les bon numéro de téléphone les bon adresse les les gars ont office dans le North Miami Beach les gars ont office dans Downtown uh, les gars même office qui dans l'autre état et pas oublier que on regarder leur politics society. Merci en pile les autorités avec nous pour émission ça. Passe une bonne nuit et nawe on l'autre là. Mm -hmm.